This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today's the day. Today's the day. Kevin, today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day my Audi R8 gets some new wheels. <laughs> Okay, let's get you guys up to date. If you've missed the previous videos, one, they're in the top right hand corner, and two, this was an X track car. We've slowly built it up, and in the meantime, whilst we wait for the new alloys, which we'll be getting today, we painted these in like a burgundy red. Now, the R8 is absolutely filthy at the minute because it is my daily driver, which I am loving, by the way. But yes, as mentioned, these wheels, we did temporary until the new wheels arrive. There is so much still to do on the Audi R8, like the mechanical and the running issues, but we will get to that. But today is about the wheels. We've custom designed the wheels. When I say we, me and Wheelmania. The new wheels have been long awaited and a lot of you were pleased to know that they are not burgundy red. So how about we get in the car and we head to Wheelmania. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. So I've not seen these wheels. I've saw a 3D design of them. We've made them sort of customized for my own liking. Also, the colors, everything, the sizes is fully customized for the Audi R8. It's a bit of a terrible weather now. It is so filthy, but let's go inside and let me see them for the first time. I'm quite excited about it. Straight from the mud like Ruby. Straight to the stair, they love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Shawty say she love the way we do. Oh my God. They look so good. <laughs> M.A. on the wheels. Oh my days, that is too good. Okay, so this is, well, these are the new alloys for the Audi R8. These are like custom made, obviously, as you can see with the MA logo embedded into the wheel there. These are 20 inch, the ones on the car are 19 inch, they're actually going up in size. The width, I think it's pretty much the same one in 295. I'm literally so buzzing to actually get these on the car. It's gonna look so sick. They are fully forged wheels as well. Um, so they're obviously a lot stronger than your standard wheels. A massive shout out to Wheelmania. If you need any wheels, anything like that sorting, the link is in the description box below. These guys will sort you out. And I know a load of you have already been here and got your wheels sorted out, but any shape, any size, they could make it. That is crazy, that wheel there. But yes, let's get my Audi R8 wheels on the R8. are on they are looking so sick much better than i expected as well now we've got a few things left to do like i'm gonna lower the rear just so it sits nicely in the arch obviously it's on coilovers and clean the whole car so wheel mania you've absolutely smashed it to the unit Inspiration from a design on my wheels came from looking at pictures online. Which is where you'll find most great things nowadays. So if your business doesn't have a website or a good website, then you're missing out. And that's where today's sponsor of the video, Squarespace, comes into place. From websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your business. With Squarespace, it's so simple and easy. Whether you're an expert or beginner, anyone can do it. 
Check this out. So once you've gone to squarespace.com, you're going to want to choose a template. And there's hundreds to choose from, as you can see. I've chose this one. Let's go straight in, edit it. Let's drag and drop our logo in there. And let's drag and drop one of our images in there. Already, it looks like your own. You can edit the text and rearrange the website to your liking. The cool thing as well, you can see what it would look like on a mobile. Now on this left hand side here, you've got a bunch of features which Squarespace give you to help push your business. Just like analytics which show your sales, your traffic, and where people are coming from to get to your website. So if you need a website, or when you do, go to squarespace.com or click the link in the description box below. And when you're ready to launch your website, use code Matt Armstrong, and you're gonna get yourself 10% off your first website or domain name. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. On to the first mod. Now, before we lower the rear end and do a few fixes, the headlights, I've been thinking about it for a while, let's tint them. I bought some really cheap tint off eBay, probably not gonna work, but I'm willing to give it a go. Let's get at it. Right, cut that. I don't know whether this is the insulation guy's fault or the actual tint film fault, but it, all right, just the finish on it is absolutely terrible. You can see loads of little bubbles there. Maybe my fault, or maybe it's the cheap film. And for that reason, it's coming off. It was worth a try. Maybe I should get it professionally done. You thought if I could wrap a car, I'd be able to tint a headlight. <laughs> Obviously not. I'm blaming it on the tint film. The Maserati has had some parts arrive this week, which is very exciting. But for now, it is in the way. So let's get this out the unit so we can get the R8 in the RAM and get that rear looking lower. Let's do it. Got two issues we need to sort in the RAM. One is the height of the rear and two is this window right here. Let me do this up. The window doesn't quite sit flush with the top. So it's leaking all sorts of water in there and it's really noisy in the cabin as well. First off, let's lower the rear. Passenger side now, because there is no door speakers in there whatsoever, don't ask why, let's just quickly get them in, come on. <laughs> okay, so we've been very productive, speakers are in the passenger door now, we'll change the hideous blue interior lights to white lights, the window is sealed up, but there's one thing I can't work out which I need to fix, is the horn. Now the horn completely doesn't work at all. Uh, I would just check the fuse to make sure I did check the right fuse. So the fuses are under this passenger mat here. Come on. Okay, so these are the fuses. What I've just worked out by watching someone's YouTube video, he actually had a fuse in there, which was a 20 amp. So I've, that has got to be the horn. And for some reason, it's been taken out. I've got a 20 amp fuse here. I'm going to put it in. Fingers crossed. This works. Get in! Right, let's get this thing out on the road and you guys are going to finally see what it looks like now once it's lowered and sitting right and clean. See you out on the road.
was clean for at least 10 minutes until I took it on the road. But it's looking so good. I, lit I, I literally love it. Come take a look. These gold wheels, even Wheelmania was thinking, what the hell are you thinking when I ordered them? But they work so well. And now the rear is sitting perfectly. Look at that fitment. Oh my days, that just looks amazing. Big wing definitely needed. The petrol cap definitely needs something doing with it. But the, oh, the wheels, they look so good. It's filthy already. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. You know what, designing these wheels and that color of the car, even the car was a massive risk. And for me, I think it's paid off. Like. I literally love it and I think it looks so good. And yes, there is going to be mixed opinions about the car, about the colour, about the wheels, but that shouldn't stop me from doing what I love doing. Same goes for you guys. Even when I first started picking up the camera, filming what I was doing, talking to the camera in the middle of nowhere like this, people did take the mic, but now look, I get to do exactly what I love day in, day out. Other people laughing at you or not liking what you're doing or doubting you, doesn't mean you should doubt yourself. Take risks if it feels right. You never know where you might end up. And at the end of the day, we're all heading to the same place. Now, two things before you go. One, have you got yourself the latest Bentley hoodie? The link is in the description box below. And two, make sure you've whacked that subscribe button. Right, now this Audi R8 is definitely underpowered. We need to take it to Mallory Performance now, get it on the dyno and see what the figures are gonna be. Let's go. That's for the next video. Peace out. Yeah.